5 and 1. Amen. Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem, and see now and know, and seek in the broad places thereof if ye can find a man. Oh. If there be any that execute judgment, that seek it the truth, and I will pardon it. Mm, my Lord. Amen. 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 Thank God for the end of scripture. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Amen. So you said I read it, okay? Amen. 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 I like to do what's set before me. Amen. Let me get the Come on, listen. I got to do what I'm going to do. Let me talk about your theme in Jeremiah. It, it all boils down to God is seeking after the man. Yes. Amen. So run the reference on that text is, and run you to where he said he sought for a man to stand in the gap, but he found man. Uh -huh. uh, yes. And so what God is looking for a, a co-pastor is a righteous man. Yes, sir. Yes. Remember that because it's very important yes. to know that, that, that a righteous man is in the city. Yes. That city is blessed. Yes. Uh -huh. yes, sir. The Bible said that the frequent from and prayer of what? Of a righteous man of very much. And we're dealing with the interpreter. So we've got to understand what the interpreter is. It's soundness, it's complete, it's whole. Huh? Amen. Amen. Somebody, amen, that, 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 that's uh, uh, sound and they walk, they hold, they complete. Amen. That, that's your interpreter. Not easily sold out. Or give up. Yes, sir. So we're dealing with some interpreting here, okay? Now look right here at First Samuel chapter number thirteen. It means something for a righteous man. First Samuel chapter thirteen. First Samuel chapter number thirteen. Are you there? Amen. And Samuel said to Saul, "Thou hast done foolish." Thou hast not kept the commandments of the Lord thy God, which he commanded thee, for now would the Lord have established thee, thy kingdom upon Israel forever. Verse number 14. But now thy kingdom shall not continue. The Lord has sought him a man after his own heart. The Lord has commanded him to be captain over his people, because thou hast not kept that which the Lord commanded they remember that he's sitting out of a man. Uh -huh. Let's go to a man for second Corinthians chapter number seven. Second Corinthians chapter number twelve, I believe. Second Corinthians chapter number twelve. What is it? Seven first? Yes. Think somebody says it's in the Bible too. It's in there. <laughs> 2 Corinthians chapter number 12, verse number 9. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, would I rather glory in my infirmity that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Verse number 2. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmity, in reproach, in reproach, in necessity, in persecution, in distress. For Christ's sake, for when I am weak, then I am the heart of God. All right. All right. the heart of God. And I, 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 the scripture says a man after God's own heart, but, but I, 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 I just want to preach after the heart of God because I'm dealing with your sisters too. Amen. That you're seeking after the heart of God. The Bible says that David was a man after the heart of God. Yes, sir. And so that's what I want to preach from that thought. After the heart of God, or seeking after the heart of God. Thank God for wherever you dwell, whatever town, whatever city you dwell. Thank God there's someone in the city that God can send those that are seeking to inquire. Huh? Even if you got to send you to Joppa, baby. Huh? There's somebody in Joppa to go and sit. Look at somebody say, that's a Canadian. But Peter, there's somebody somewhere, amen, and then he, amen, seeking for us. So it's important. To have this righteous man in the city. Now you know the story, amen, of Solomon and Gomorrah. And Abraham went down to Solomon and Gomorrah which, to rescue his nephew. Lot was down there. And y'all know the story, how, how sin was rampant. And there was a particular type of sin that was boiling in Solomon and Gomorrah. Yes, amen. There just wasn't anything going on down there. 
Well, there was some stuff that was going on down there. And Lot got there simply because he looked out on the plane. And he, saw, he thought the grass was greener yeah. and all that kind of stuff. But he went down there and got into some trouble. Yeah. And so now here go, amen, Abraham to the city and find out. But before Abraham went there, the word of the Lord came with the pre-adventure to, to Abraham that if you find 50, are you with me now? Oh, yeah, yeah. And you know that thing kept on dropping down to 40, 45 and all that. But you got to understand the text. He said, for your sake, talking about Abraham, just for you, Abraham, I will do this just for you. Just for you, just for the stand that you take, I will spare the city, Abraham, if you find 50 down there. Just for you, I will spare Look at somebody say, we're talking about a righteous man. Look what God's going to do. That's what Abraham going to spread the whole city of Sodom and Gomorrah. And Abraham go down there. And God, the Lord said, just for your sake, I was a righteous man. It came to mean righteousness. And Abraham, just for the stand that he took, God said, I will spread Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, you got to understand, my brother and my sister, when we get into interpreting, it's not talking about you not doing anything. I think some of y'all missed that because some of y'all think that because you didn't do this and do that. No, no, no. Look what the Bible said. The Bible said, Amen, that David was a man after the heart of God. Now, I'm seeking after the heart of God. But look at somebody said, David had some issues, baby. But one thing that was that, 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 that David was committed to was to attain the heart of God. And I come to preach to you that if you sold out and if you persuaded that nothing was separate you from the love of God, not even life nor death nor angels, Sin to do so easy, but suddenly, and let his heart with patience. 